Okay, welcome back to part three of iPad 201, Beyond Basics to Practical Classroom Uses. So in our first sessions that we've done so far, we've done show me and explain everything. We did tutorials on those, how to use them. Show me, you can use that in your class tomorrow without any real effort at all. You can just incorporate in what you're already doing. Explain everything, a little more difficult, might take you some more time, that's the upgrade. It'll take some time to get in. What we're gonna look at now is infused learning, and in session four, we'll look at Nearpod. So let's look at infused learning today. We're going to use infused learning. Infused learning, all it is, is a web-based app that's like Socrative, if you're familiar with that, but it allows instant interaction with all students and the teacher. Um, so you can pull a classroom, you can ask questions, you can get quick answers, quick data, um, great formative assessment tool, Infuse Learning. And so we're going to show you some of that today. So uh, I'm going to be using teacher.infuselearning.com for my iPad. Um, and then uh, the other devices on my screen will be using student.infuselearning.com. Um, so let's go ahead and look at my setup here. Here we are. So <clears throat> we have our devices set up. Uh, as the teacher here, I am already logged in ready to go. I'm going to click start class and then my students are going to log in. Note the room ID number 37063. So from all my devices, I'm going to wait on the students to log in. 37063. I'm logging in on all these devices here. Uh, this will be John. So John's getting in. Notice as John connects, it'll update my list here. There's John right there. Um, let's log in here, 37063. And we'll make this Mary. And we'll submit, and notice Mary will show up in the list. And over here, 37063, we will make this um, Bobby. All right, and Bobby will hit submit. So now our students are in, John, Mary, and Bobby. You can see their names all here. So teacher, I'm gonna click return. I know my students are in. I've got three students in here. So now we're kind of on the, the management portal side here. So this, what you're seeing on the iPad here is not what students will see, this is what you see. You could project this if you wanted to, but there's no need to. And the cool thing about Infuse Learning is there's no, if you don't need, don't want to, there's no prep ahead of time. You can use this right now, just pull it out, use it in the classroom, start asking questions. You could go through and say, okay class, true or false. Last year you learned more than you had learned in the years past. And so as a teacher, I will click now on true false. And notice the devices all switch immediately and the students can respond. They can say true. Maybe they have trouble reading. They can click over here, click on this and it'll tell them. It'll read it to them and say true. I don't know if you heard that through the recording, but they're gonna choose true. And last but not least, we'll choose false here. Click submit and away the answers go. So notice that as the students answer, they get grayed out on the screen. That's how I know the students answered. I can look at a quick summary by clicking on summary up here. Uh, see, I got one false, two trues. If I wanna see who gave what, click on details. Okay, Mary said false, Bobby said true, John said true. Okay, so Mary might have had a bad year. It's something I know already. If I want to save these results, I just click on save results and just type in what I want. Um, we'll make this sample. And we'll save results. So now the results of this are saved where I can refer to them later. So this little home button here is your key. It's gonna be back to the screen. So I'm gonna click there. Notice the student devices all change and kind of follow me where I am. We're waiting for activity in the room. So students are just waiting, sitting there going, okay, what's next, what's next, what's next? Well, now I can say, okay, I need you guys. We're, we're gonna do multiple choice real quick. So um, I'll give them a question out loud and I'll say, if you think the answer is this, choose A, this, choose B, this, choose C, this, choose D. Well, as a teacher now, I can click on multiple choice. <clears throat> And now there's the choices for the kids. Now notice it's A, B, C, or D. I didn't preload any text or anything. So they have to choose which one they think is the correct answer. And once they've all chosen their answers, again, they get grayed out on the screen, waiting on Mary's. Mary's in, I can go back, summary. 
see the results. Everybody chose B. Look at the details. Just see who maybe who got it faster. Ah, John was the fastest in the room. Okay, click back on my home button. And here we are again. So this is a true, false, multiple choice. Maybe I want to do a sort and order question. Here's a sort and order question. So I click there. Now the students on their devices drag the answers into order. So, okay, I think it was B, A, C, D, submit. On my iPhone over here, I can just click and drag. I think it was C, B, A, D. Click submit there. And this one just thinks it's A, B, C, D. So answers are all in. Bobby's grayed out. Go over, click summary. I can see, okay, there were the answers. Everybody answered differently. Okay, okay, look at the details. Okay, there's where they answered. Okay, you like it. So these are instant tools. Now imagine 30 students at a time, 25 students in your classroom using this. You can get some pretty good feedback. So other options, open and did text answer. So if we click there, now the students can just type in a response, anything they want. Um, they can type it on in, send it in to me. So if they want to type in, I'm not sure, submit. Um, the Houston. Then ask, ooh, I can't type Astros are the best team. Submit and this one, um, the Houston Texans are best. There we go. Click submit and the answers are all in. I'm waiting for Mary to zoom out. There she goes. Go on summary and now here's what it looks. I got an I'm not sure. The Houston Astros the best. Houston Texas the best. So these are my text responses. If I want to see who gave what, again, click on details. There we go. I've got the answers. I can look at them. Um, I can, again, save these results if I want to. If I click over here, I can save it. Um, I'm just going to put sample, um, sample two, save results. All right, so again, I'm going to click on my home button as a teacher on my iPad, and here all the student devices are back. Um, we can also do a numeric response. I'll just do this one real quick. So now the students can just type in a number, right? They can send the numbers in, but we don't need to see that. Notice if we hit the home button, all the devices come back with me. Um, Likert scale. A lot of people like this one, the Likert scale. This is the, uh, from one to five, what do you think about today's lesson? This is where students can give you kind of the quick exit ticket response of what they thought of today's lesson and how it went. Um, so they're all in, look at the details. You can see who thought the class was did well today, who didn't, um, and kind of where the class ranked for you. My favorite one of these tools though is the one up here, draw response. Ah, I use this one all the time and I'll click draw response and I'll say, I just want you to draw me what uh, a cloud looks like. And I always have people that come in and they just draw clouds, right? And they click the little down arrow to submit. Or they, there's me, here I am on the computer, draw clouds, submit. And over here, this one will be the, the one who's a little bit smarter than some of the others, or at least be, catches on a little quicker. We're going to make a blue cloud here. So here we go with our blue cloud and we'll submit. So now as a teacher, I see that everybody has finally submitted their images. I click on it. Ah, there we go. And I say, oh, Mary, Mary, good job, Mary. I am glad you figured out that we needed a blue cloud instead of a red cloud. So I'm gonna hold down on it because I like that one. I'm gonna save that image. Um, and that's one that I really, really like. So. I'm gonna go back here to my home. And now I'm gonna to go to these tools. Now these were the quick assessment tools. These are quick, throw them out, no planning's really needed. Now we have some interactive tools. So I'm gonna to go to Infuse Draw. And Infuse Draw, now as a teacher, I can draw first and then send it out to the students. Or I can, if I want, load in a picture. Now remember, I saved uh, Mary's picture earlier and so I'm gonna upload this and now I'm going to send it back out to the students and I can say true, false, A, B, C, D, text, numeric, or draw. I'm sending it back again as a draw. And I'm gonna tell these students to, to add to Mary's picture to make this a more complete picture of this guy. So every student can now go through and make their own additions to it. Maybe they want to add lightning and submit that one in. 
Um, maybe we want to um, just fill in the cloud some. Who knows? We're just sending these back in. Maybe I just don't want to do this segment and I want to send it back in as you send it to me. So now all the images are back. Again, I go over click. Oh, I love the lightning one. I can click here, hold down on it, and I can save John's now and send it back out to the class if I wanted to kind of keep this going. So those are um, just some of the quick tools there. Um, one of the better ones that I've seen used is this one right here, Infuse Link. Infuse Link is real simple. If I click on Infuse Link, um, you have those moments where you want everybody in the class to go to the same place, but it doesn't always have work out well in your classroom. Well, now you can type in the link of what you want a student to go to. So let's say we want these everybody to go to my website um, so that they can um, all look at it. We're going to go to jamielachlan.com. So I'm going to type that in, click send. It's going to go out to the devices. Notice they all say click me. Well, when we click, we will all end up at the exact website we wanted them to go to, jamielachlan.com. And here they all pull up. Here they're all loading. Notice how they all load differently different times. Uh, but they're all to the same page. No one is going, I'm lost. I don't know what to do. What do I do now? None of that happens. And as a teacher, that's well worth doing. So let's close those back out. All right. So now, as we've gone through Infuse Draw, Infuse Link, now we can look quizzes. We can add quizzes. We can put them in there. We can set up classes, um, all these things. We can look at our students. Um, and we quiz results. So quizzes is the last one we're going to look at for um, Infuse Learning. So we can always add a new quiz. You can see I've got a couple three quizzes there. Um, pretty simple stuff. Once we have the quiz, we can edit it. Um, we can send it out. We can share the quiz. We can trash the quiz. I'm going to go ahead and click the play button on the Alpaca quiz. And notice that all the devices go to where it is and the students have to click on it to begin their quiz. And so once they begin the quiz, maybe I'm going to skip, I'm going to skip on this one. Um, we're going to say pack animal here, click submit. Um, we're going to say uh, four on this one. This is harder to do when you're doing all the devices yourself. 10 on this one. And see what's cool is as the students start submitting answers, if you notice, as the teacher, I am seeing their responses live in time. Bobby is the only one who got question number one correct. Um, and so we're going to keep going. Is this a llama? Um, is the question I'm looking at now on my phone. And I'm going to say um, true and submit. And we're going to go to our computers here. And we're going to say, uh, well, that's false. Um, everybody's kind of giving different answers here. Uh, we'll skip this one. True. Submit. And so here we come in with our answers, and you can see that it's active and going. If I want to end the quiz, I can. I can watch the students go and see that, man, John and Mary are really, really struggling right now with this, uh, with this quiz. So we're going to end the quiz to see the results. So the, I've ended the quiz. Now the results all automatically download into um, my, my teacher background. So I can look at the dates to see which one, which one was I looking for. Oh, okay. Um, we are looking for this one right here. This was the, the quick assessment results from earlier that we saved. Well, this is from the quiz. Okay, so that was Infuse Learning. Um, we've gone through some of the tools. You can see there's great potentials, great use for this. There's other things we can do with this system, but I just wanted to give you a quick introduction into it. I love this tool. Play with it. Get used to it. It is a great tool for your class. I prefer Infuse Learning over Socrative and some other tools that are the same because it's so simple. It's just so simple to get students in. Students go to student.infuselearning.com. Teachers go to teacher.infuselearning.com. It just doesn't get any more simple than what we're showing you right here, right now. So that was iPad 201 Part 3. Um, and Part 4, we're going to look at Nearpod. Um, and kind of some of the features that Nearpod has. So stay tuned and look for that. Thanks for joining us.